Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at creating a surreal, dreamy, fashion-y, montage-y, beautiful, whatever, glowy, nice summertime look inside of Adventures Off. I don't really know what I'm going to call this tutorial, but it's that sort of vibe. So I love doing stuff like this. These are some of my favorite grades to do because they're just wild. So, you know, of course, always step one to making people like the, your video is start off with a video for Pretty Girl. That is just sort of a rule and you see... You know, we get some crazy highlights going on here, but hopefully that'll just play off well with our grade. And you see, you know, she's a little dark, so we've got some work to do with this shot. You know, one thing about having shots with pretty girls is you're often fooled into thinking it's a good shot. So, you know, it's a good way if you're starting out to fool people into thinking that you're good. But, you know, if this was a video of me, it'd be pretty obvious to see the sort of technical problems that are going on with this. So the first thing we'll do is sort of just even it out. This was shot with the Ursa Mini 4K, so it's sort of contrasty for this to start off with so we don't need to do too too much add a little bit of saturation and now what we're going to do is we're going to sort of um i think of it it's not actually inverting the luminance but i think of it as sort of inverting the luminance of the image because right now this background is brighter than our talent which i don't want so s alt s to create new serial node alt l to create new layer node this bottom layer node we're going to key out our talent skin and luckily this is pretty easy because she's basically on just like the worst green screen in the entire world. But that makes her key pretty easy. So you saw really quick, we get, you know, a pretty good little key there. So I'll take that and I won't even refine it too much. Maybe let me see in a little out. How far can we go? We'll call that good. And how much? Oh, nice. We can get back a lot of highlights there. I don't want that. Cool. How far can we go down here before we start getting garbage? Oh, interesting. Bring that in some and then bring our soft softness out. Hopefully that will work to our advantage and then we'll just blur it all to crap. And there we go. So in this layer, what we will do is go to our curves and make sure only our luminance is selected and sort of bring this up. Actually really nice way of doing this is to pick the part of the image that you want. And then you can say, okay, this is where I want to lift it up. And ah, nice. Now she's already much brighter and nicer looking. It's a little bit washed out because we're just doing the luminance channel, but I want to mess with saturation stuff differently. So there's that. And then we'll contrast it back down at the bottom a little bit. So it sort of looks less like we did that more like we had a giant fill card. So like I said, a little bit washed out. We'll increase the saturation some there. And you see one really interesting thing with this particular shot is since we're in so much green, you're getting a lot of these green reflections in our skin tone which, you know, can be cool and natural looking, but we're wanting to make this look fashion-y. So even though she has, you know, perfect skin, basically, we're going to do a little bit of tweaking around. So go to hue versus hue, and we're going to make a nice big selection. Just add a bunch of points. And we're going to bring our reds up just a little bit to sort of introduce a little bit of pinkiness into the skin tone. It's not much, sort of from there to maybe there you know about five hue rotate but you can see that is doing a good job of sort of eliminating these greens i'll zoom way in because i know that youtube can be a little bit goofy so that's without it and that's with it so it's nice just like that and now we'll take a little bit of the blues out for now we'll add some in but you see especially under her eyes we're getting a little bit of blue stuff happening in these highlights here. We're going to add some back in a little bit, but I just sort of want to knock these a little bit to the warm side. Then we'll go to our hue versus saturation and we'll take a lot of the greens and blues out just like we were sort of playing with before to make sure we aren't missing anything. You see it's not doing much, but if you look around her eyes, you can see a little bit of movement. You're just going to take that down a little bit. And this is really sort of finicky stuff, but oh, you can probably see it really good down here with these reflections. Yeah. So you can see it's too blue and then bring it down. It's just real subtle, especially because it is desaturating it. So to your eye, it doesn't look like it's doing much, but it's pretty nice. And then in another node, we could do all this in one node, but I sort of want to keep it a little cleaner. Connect this to the alpha output and flip this. So there we go. You just got another thing of the same key. I'm gonna move this a little bit warm. And now you can see our key isn't quite getting the nose it looks like. So let's go ahead and check that. Yep, 
So you need to refine our key a bit because that's an important part of the image. So that nose is going a little bit blue. So we're going to need to widen this out some if we can. Let's see where that appears at. Oh, it could be. Oh, no. There it is, sort of. So I guess it's magenta -y. That's fine. We've got plenty of room on that side. And it might be something to do with saturation. No. Let's bring this back in a little bit. Cool. And increase our softness some. Bring our highs all the way up. Still doesn't look like we're quite getting it there. Oh, no. That might just be the color. Cool. So I guess we've managed to get it now. Yeah. So now if we move this, yep, we're definitely getting it in there. We obviously don't want to go straight, you know, the thing on this. But scoot this until you start to notice it and then bring it back some. So this is really good. You know, if you've got control panels, those fancy things, you know, those are really good for minute adjustments. But if you're cheap, then you can use a m mouse with like a sniper button on it, like a gaming mouse, because so this is you know, me normally moving the mouse and then holding the sniper button down, you moving the mouse the same amount. So you get these really fine adjustments So if you want to do stuff like that. So that's looking pretty nice. It's a little bit pink. And since I'm wanting to be a little bit finicky with this, I'm going to go ahead and move that towards yellow. Back, warm it up a bit. Okay. So you can see that does a really nice job of bringing life to the footage. So without and with. So now stuff is starting to look really nice. You know, a lot of people could say, you know, that right there, it's a pretty nice sort of clean, neutral, commercially grade for this. But I really like my surreal grades. So yeah, we're not going to worry about that part. That part's going to kind of blow out. And if you're doing like an edit of this, that'd be a good little transition point. Put like a little light leak thing there and flip out to the next thing. So we're mainly going to worry about this sort of setup here, this lighting setup, which is basically just being in the shade. So now we've got this sort of nice exacting adjustment going on. We can make some changes to our background if we want to, since we've got this layer mixer. So, you know, if we wanted to, I mean, with this sort of key, we could, you know, make it go really surreal if we wanted to. But I'll probably just sort of push it a little bit extra green in the gamma and desaturate the shadows. Some Maybe push the shadows a little bit towards blue. How much can we get away with? That's a little nice. I like that. Bring this back some. Maybe even make the highlights warm and darken it down a bit. Yeah. And we'll desaturate it some because that's a little bit much. It looks like we did something. But yeah, there you go. So that sort of cleans that up a little bit. We're going to bring back some of this color in the step after the next step. So the next step, that is adding a, another serial node. And then I'll go ahead and add a little circle qualifier right here. I'm just going to track Allie's face here. We're going to do our standard sort of, you know, interest enhancement to this. So turn off 3D because the 3D tracker is not great. Backwards and forwards. Nice, nice and quick. Gotta love DaVinci Resolve's tracker. So now we've got that and it's looking good. If you really wanted to be cheeky with this, you could take the alpha output from this and invert this and then you get like a really nice key but i don't want to do that because i want it to be sort of circle-y but just so you know if you're really hardcore you can do it that way and then i'll go ahead and increase the gamma a bit the gain a bit contrast some move the pivot down a little more there we go so now we really know to focus on ali's face so that's pretty nice. I might even bring that up a little bit more in our curves just to be a little more exacting with it. So these sort of shadowy areas. I'm going to sort of, I'm going to, even though I was increasing the contrast, I want to reduce this mid-tone contrast because that will get rid of any sort of like shadowy details or anything that would make you think that, you know, someone's skin wasn't made of porcelain. So we're going to just really make it nice here and lift that up. And you see a lot of times uh, makeup will do this on its own because it's got different reflective properties than skin. So, you know, sometimes you get that for, I would say for free, but I mean, you're paying for it with makeup people. 
All right, so that's looking nice. I might feather this out a little bit more just because I'm self-conscious about it. And then in a parallel node, we will go ahead and create just a little bit of a vignette around this. We don't need too much, just sort of like that. Then we'll add another parallel node. And what parallel nodes do is they basically make everything all happen at the same time in the correction. So it's basically like doing all these corrections in one node, in case you're wondering. So now this is my favorite part, one of my favorite parts. We're going to add these big sort of gradient filters and see the sun's coming in from this side. So we're going to warm up this side of the image. And so we're just going to push this a little bit. Not that much. Might even do it just in the gamma to leave our highlights alone some. So yeah, just warming that up, however far you want to go. And once again, if you were really hardcore, you could take the alpha output from this and then you could have it not affect your skin at all. But I don't think I'm that hardcore today. I kind of want it spilling over some. Let's try adding a little bit to the gain. Yeah, that's nice. It sort of warms it up even more. Go back to these guys. And then Alt-P again, add another parallel node. And since the sun is over here being warm, that means the shadows over here are going to be cool because it was a blue sky. And blue skies make cool shadows. So this will be where we sort of add back in some of these blue fills, just really subtly, with the same technique of adding a little linear gradient coming in from the side. This spill from our key on our hair, I kind of really like a lot, so we're not going to fix that, in case you're wondering. Now just drop this towards blue some, and the highlights towards blue a little bit. That's looking good. And I might even brighten this guy up some. Yeah, that's nice. So I like the color we're getting with this node, but I think just a little bit too much. So I'm going to reduce the saturation some, just to sort of tie it in with the rest of our grade might even offset it just a little bit. And my decision for doing that was I glanced over at my vector scope and I saw that this red channel was just really low and sort of out of bounds with the rest of our image. So I just pop this in and that'll scoot that up. And now you can see there's less contrast in that area. So this is a little bit less poppy outy. I'm not normally, you know, a huge scopes, you know, always staring at the scopes guy, but it's good for these little diagnostic things. And then our reds aren't clipping, which is also nice. A little bit more. There we go. Just sort of evening it out. Nice. And once again, you can do the same sort of alpha mat with this if you wanted to get rid of that spill on our hair. But I like that, so I'm keeping it. The last little bit is another one of my favorite techniques, Alt S, and that is adding in a glow. Glow is just the bomb. Makes everything look better. I use it on basically everything. You can see it just ties, you get this nice light wrap around here. This ties the image together really nicely. And then if you get to these two bright parts, then you see it, it's a little bit more filmy than this. You get this hard line here where it's like, oh, my sensor's clipping. Well, here it sort of blooms out and it feels a little bit more surreal and nice and fashiony and it's generally better. One other thing while we're having fun with this, let me save real quick. This is a bit of a new feature. I was just thinking her eyes are a little bit darker than I would really like them. And I was going to be too lazy to go out and track those. But then I remembered in Resolve 14 Studio, we've got face refinement. So that will go through and it will analyze our image. And this is a little bit of a slow process, but it's fine. It's easier than, you know, doing this the real way. Once again, this is a studio only version or feature, I'm pretty sure. So you have to pay for it. But it's pretty nice, especially whenever you do as much sort of digital makeup stuff as I do. It's got some good features for that that really saves time and makes things a little better. So, all right. Now we've got our this thing here. We'll zoom in. We're just going to brighten up the eyes some. So, eye retouching, brightening. Ooh, that's too much. I don't want that much. Do that. Eye bag removal. That's more of what I was wanting. We'll turn off the show overlay so we can see a little bit better what we're doing. So brightening, there we go. Just adding some light in there. Eye light, oh, there we go. That's exactly what I was wanting. That's a little artificial. I'll bring the eye light down. But now you can see without that and with it, that's pretty surreal looking. You can even, let's see here. You can even add a little bit of sharpness just to really make it pop out. So the Instagrammers think we're cool. 
And while we're here and we've got it, we'll saturate these lips up a bit, just a little bit. So there we go. Now we have really just transformed this shot. So remember before when I said, you know, this shot may not look that bad? Well, look at it now. That's money. So if anyone doesn't think that they want to pay for color grading, just show them this tutorial because that shot looks tens of thousands of dollars more expensive than this shot. So anyway, I hope you liked the tutorial. If you want more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. Check out MeesterMedia.com slash products. We've got all sorts of stuff that makes your life easier. LUT, power grades, light leaks, which I would very much use on this footage. This is just like screaming for trendy light leak treatment. Also, be sure to like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you dislike. Leave your feelings down in the comments below. Check out the social medias in the description. I'm trying to get better Instagram, so it would make me feel good if you followed me there or whatever that's called. I don't know. Occasionally, I post stuff. Uh, also, be sure to share this video with your friends because we go over a lot of really good techniques in this video. This is a good tutorial, Theo. High five. Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.